I had a question in the Q&A on my Shadsen UI course recently asking with the Shadsen UI date picker, so it's the calendar within the popover, how can we close the calendar or close the popover whenever a date is selected? So by default, when we copy and paste the date picker example from the Shadsen UI documentation, whenever we select a date in the calendar, the calendar and the popover doesn't actually close by default. So the question was, how can we close the calendar whenever a new date is selected? Now, before I got a chance to actually reply to the person who posted that question, they already solved it. And I thought I'd go over the solution to this. It's actually really easy to do and only takes literally a couple of lines of code to implement this. So that said, I've already got an example project, an XJS project with the Shad CNUI calendar and the popover installed. If we open up our components and UI here, I've just copied the date picker boilerplate code from the Shad CNUI documentation and added it into a new date picker file. So that was what we just saw in the browser. So by default, the calendar doesn't close when we select a new date. However, all we need to do is hook into the popover props, specifically the open and on open change props. And instead of allowing the popover component itself to control this, we can control this via a local state item. So let's create a local state item. Then we're going to create a const open and a set open here and set this equal to use state, which we need to import from React. Or we can simply use react.useState. That's fine. And by default, the popover will be closed. However, we want to set the popover open prop then equal to our own open prop and on open change sets equal to set open. So the on open change callback function will receive the new value of the open state. We can see here, it's going to be a Boolean, obviously, if the popover should be open or closed. So essentially then all we're doing is passing that value to our set open local state item. So then obviously it will update our open state item. So this change in itself won't have actually changed anything in the browser. The functionality is going to be exactly the same thing. However, all we need to do is set open to false whenever we select a new date in the calendar. So if we scroll all the way down then to our calendar implementation here, we can extend the on select function here. At the moment, all it's doing is setting a local state item called date. So let's pass a callback function then. And this callback function will be passed the new date to set. So let's just grab our new value here, our new date value. And we can still use set date, passing in our date here. And actually, I'm just going to say new value in here instead of date, just so we don't get confused with our date local state item. However, all we need to do in here then is also set open to false. So if we save this now then and take a look in the browser, let's give it a quick refresh. Let's open up our date picker and select a date. And there we go. Our popover closes automatically whenever we select the new date. Now we could extend this as well if we head on back to our code. We could extend this if we scroll up to our date picker here, we could pass an optional prop, for example, close on date select. So let's destructure then close on date select and let's pass a type definition for our props here. The close on date select will be of type Boolean and it will be an optional prop. So all we need to do then is hook into the close on date select. So if close on date select is true, let's scroll down to our on select function or our on select callback function for our calendar. All we need to do is wrap our set open then. If close on date select is true, only then will we set open to false. So then if we open up then wherever we're rendering the date picker, so I'm rendering the date picker in the homepage here, we can see I'm just rendering the date picker here. We don't have any props passing to the date picker component. So if we head on back to the browser, if we give it a quick refresh, let's open up our date picker and select the date. We can see that because we don't have the close on date select prop passed to the date picker component, then the popover doesn't close. So this is the default behavior. However, if we head on back to our code then for our date picker, all we need to do then is pass close on date select. Let's save this now and take a look in the browser. Let's give it a quick refresh. Let's open up our date picker and select the date. And there we go. Our calendar closes automatically whenever we select a new date.